In Explore and Describe lessons, teachers model how to explore, not what to make or how to make it. Some students will diligently follow the guided prompts that you offer for exploration. Other students may just dive in and begin exploring how they like. It's better to allow some kids to work in their own way than to slow down the whole lesson trying to make everyone follow you. This may mean that certain kids miss the skills you're modeling. That's okay. More often than not, the kids who go their own way end up learning skills from their peers later when they want to make a particular thing for their independent work. And look at the nice I made off the way you have curls. I made off. I made off. That's false. That's it's a lie. It is a lie. So I like it. Has it's like it looks like it. You could also do it here. Yeah. And I like this one because I got an idea from Jasmine to do that. It's right. Jasmine has a lot of good ideas. I like the way it's she going this way. She even made a 3D. She even made a 3D. Up and down, 3D so it has texture, jellyfish. But it also has a nice Jasmine, shape. Jasmine, you are so. You are so. Is. You are so good at making this. Jasmine, you are so good at making this. See if you can fit a rainbow, rainbow, like rainbow over there. It's like almost like a. Then there's something else. I'm gonna do it now. You may also find that once kids are given independent art making time, some of them want to use different tools and techniques than the one you offered. Maybe they want to use scissors instead of tearing paper. Maybe they want to add additional details to a collage project by adding drawing. Maybe they want to add color to their pencil drawing. Maybe they want to glue their work down to create a finished puppet or work of art when you had imagined that they would spend more time exploring. Maybe they want to use the five shapes to create hair or earrings for their expressive puppet face when you had intended for them to focus on facial features. Maybe they want to use collage materials to build the entire body of a puppet when you had just imagined that they would decorate the puppet's torso. Be prepared to follow your student's lead and support their autonomy. Look for ways to make space for their creative ideas even when they diverge from your plans.